Midwest Picker here. I went to uh, an estate sale this week, past weekend. Today is Sunday, so Saturday I hit an estate sale, a garage sale, and three thrift stores. I don't know why I'm having difficulty talking, but probably haven't had enough Dr. Pepper today. So um, I, this is a sourcing video, and I want to show you what I bought, what I paid for it, what I think it'll sell for, and how it will ship. So this is to help out new people to reselling or to eBay. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Dave. I'm a part-time reseller, part-time YouTube content creator, uh, married, kids, um, work full-time as an RN. So I'm scrambling this weekend. My store, my eBay store fell below what I'm paying for, which is really dumb. So if you're paying for an eBay store, say 250 or 100 or 500, you really should keep the listings as close to that or even a little more if you can. Um, I'm paying for two fifty, and I'm, I'm well below that. So I'm, I'm leaving money on the table, which is not smart. So I have a little bit of a death pile here, a little bit of a death pile here. I don't know if you can see it. I got a pile of clothes here. I typically don't do clothes, but the wife and I went through our bedroom closet and spring is around the corner. So we got the spring cleaning bug and we found really nice clothes, some with the tags that we just don't wear, they don't fit anymore, and we could sell them in a garage sale, but I thought, you know what, why not? I'll just throw them up on my eBay store, and selling clothes for me personally is just a pain because of all of the possible item description options. Uh, the item specifics, eBay has just really ramped that up. There's like 10 to 50, depending on what the item is. So um, some of these are T-shirts, maybe a sports jersey, shouldn't be too bad. I think like uh, like a dress or a sports coat or a suit. They have so I think they have a whole ton of options. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, so this weekend is making this video, listing on eBay, sourcing all day yesterday. It's been very busy. But I like to stay busy. I like to get up early on my days off, and I like to work and stay busy. So just for fun, before I show you um, what I bought at the estate sale, they had this really cool car. I had to write it down. It's a thirty-eight Packard. Um, I'll put pictures up here. I didn't even ask them what they wanted for it. It was too expensive. I'm guessing nine to ten thousand. It was a really nice car, really good condition, all original and unrestored. Um, and these hood ornaments too, man, they don't make them like they used to. So anyway, that's a really cool car. And then I took one short little video in the estate sale, and there was some uh, really cool artwork, which I'm going to show you right here. <laughs> Now, I considered that artwork for the eBay office. You can see behind me, I got a lot of stuff. It would probably have to be off camera somewhere. Two reasons I didn't buy that artwork. One, they wanted $45 a piece, and it wasn't original. I mean, they're, they're just prints. And two, um, because Mrs. Midwest would veto that and wouldn't allow me to bring those into the house. So, two reasons why I didn't buy those. So anyway, this is what I bought. The first item, I'll put a picture up here. This is what is in my eBay store right now. These are called four foot transom tie downs. And this is for basically to attach your boat to your boat trailer. Um, it's really heavy, but it's compact, still brand new in the package. I paid $4.50 for it. I have it listed for $22.95 plus shipping on top. This will go priority mail. Uh, probably fits really nice into a region A box. The next item is this uh, water filter. This is kind of like a commercial grade water filter. It's really big and it can be used for anything. Ice makers, refrigerators, RVs, motorhomes, all that kind of stuff. As soon as I saw it, I knew it had value. I didn't even look it up. Um, when I got into my car after I bought it, then I looked it up, but it was $4.50 also. And then I looked it up and there's maybe two or three on eBay right now. One is $39, one is $49. I really don't know what the value is. So I listed mine for $39.95 plus shipping on top just to undercut the competition a little bit. And I only paid four bucks for it, so why not? Um, shipping on this one will be a little odd because of the shape, but I believe it will go a region B box. I'm not sure. Maybe a region A skinny box. I don't know. We'll see. But it is priority mail. And I'm also doing a new thing on my eBay store, calculated priority mail. I used to do just flat rate. So if I assumed it would fit in a region A box, I would just charge a flat rate of $9.99. 
if I thought it'd be a medium, that's easy. Medium and large flat rates, it's just one rate for everybody. But region A and B, it depends on where the buyer lives. And sometimes you can make a little money or you can lose a little money. And I just like the simplicity of saying, hey, $13.99, priority mail, anybody. And if they live probably within 500 miles of me, it would probably be like break even. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to do calculated priority mail. So I put in the dimensions of the priority mailbox, whether it's A or B. And then I'll say, if it's A, I'll say it's two pounds. If it's B, I'll say it's four pounds. And then wherever the buyer lives, it calculates it. So it's almost down to the penny. So if somebody lives in California, they're going to pay just about the exact amount of shipping. And I'm not going to take the risk. There's been a couple times where I sold something, priority mail, only charged $9.99. And they lived really far away. California, Oregon, something like that. And it ended up being you know, $11, $12, $13. So I had to eat some money. And that comes right out of your net profit. So that's something new that I'm doing. The rest of these items came from thrift stores. The garage sale, uh, I didn't buy anything. There was nothing there. Um, the first one is this Tabasco coffee mug, which I just thought was pretty cool. It has no year on it, which makes it difficult. It doesn't say dishwasher, microwave safe, or anything on the bottom. Um, there are some other ones comparable. I paid $0.99 cents for it. I listed it for $18.95 plus shipping on top. It's a little over a pound. So I'm going to do priority mail again, um, calculated, but it'll be a five by five by five box, probably a pound and four or five ounces, something like that. Uh, the next one was awesome. I was at Goodwill and they had the coffee cup rack, which I always go to. And you've seen that in my previous videos. And I was looking over the coffee cups. I didn't really see anything super cool. Um, but then I looked down and there was a big Tabasco box, which I'll put some pictures up here. And I opened it, and it was full of Tabasco, uh, like chili bowls with a little handle on it. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. They're new in box. They're all there. Um, it was $3.99, so I just bought it. When I got home, I looked a little closer, and right on the box it says 1985. So these are considered vintage. They're brand spanking new. They look like they've never been used. So I'm going to sell them as new open box. Um, there's four different chili bowls, so they're all there, all complete set. You can buy these right now on the Tabasco website, but they're brand new. Um, they look the same, but they're not quite the same. Maybe made in China. These were made in Japan. So they're a little different. And the only ones that have been sold, according to Terapeak, going back a year, was two of these bowls and not even the whole complete set not the original box so these have not sold in a long time so I consider them pretty rare most people just chuck the box and throw it away so it's the original box never been used 1985 I'm gonna go a little crazy I listed them for 99.95 plus shipping on top they'll go priority mail region B box and I have best offer turned on so I paid four bucks for it if somebody offers me I don't know any amount um, that's decent, I'm going to take it. So that's just a lesson when you're in a thrift store, a garage sale, a flea market. Um, if you see a box, just open it. Uh, I think Peter Craigslist Hunter said this too. When he goes through a thrift store, he'll go down an aisle, but then he'll turn around and come back the other direction. Sometimes you just miss things. But if you see boxes like a shoe box or a cardboard box, just open it up and dig around and look in it. Sometimes there's treasures just hidden there that are easy to just walk past if you assume you know what it is. So if it's a box that says hair dryer, it might not be a hair dryer. Open it up and look. It might be, you know, vintage marbles or something like that. So um, I saw that Tabasco box and I thought, yeah, that's cool. Sometimes there's only one or two chili bowls in there and it's really not worth your time. I opened it and it was definitely worth my time. So that was my home run of the day for that. The next item, which you can see right there, is Miami University Beer Stein Ceramic Mug. It's really old from the early 60s. There are other ones on eBay. Mine is cream with red printing. The other ones on eBay are black and white, different color schemes. Some people only want that they have it listed for like four or five bucks. I don't know why you would sell it that cheap. Other people have it listed much higher, like $24. So I listed mine for $29.95 plus shipping on top. It's from about 1964, made in the USA, made in Ohio, actually. I have no idea what it's worth. Um, 
So I just listed it. So we'll see where it goes. Um, if somebody offers me something, I'll take it. Um, but that'll go um, priority mail also. The last item are these uranium uh, dessert bowls or, or sherbet or parfait bowls. They go by different names. I'll put pictures up here. These are a buck a piece, and I got four of them. Um, I'm going to list these soon for $24.95 plus shipping on top. So a little bit of advice if you're going to be selling uranium glass is one thing that I learned looking at other eBay sellers that are veterans and have like, you know, 100,000 feedback is they put terms in the title and the description that aren't possibly necessarily true, but that's the term that people use. So if you're going to sell uranium glass, I highly recommend that I highly recommend in the title and the description you use the word depression and you use the word Vaseline. Some people call it Vaseline glass, some people call it depression glass. Technically it's uranium glass, which was from the late 1800s up until the 1960s or 70s. Um, not all depression glass is uranium glass, and a lot of times if you go to an antique store, um, or even especially a thrift store, they just put depression glass on everything. But even antique stores, when they should know better, they'll put depression glass and they don't realize what it is. I'm going to show you an example right here. So this is an alphabet plate. This was in an antique store for $2. It said depression glass alphabet plate. And it's kind of got a yellow color to it. What they didn't know is this was uranium this is uranium glass. So I'll put my flashlight on here and I don't know how well that's going to show up on video. Maybe it will. If you can tell it's glowing there. Yeah. There we go. It's a beautiful plate. It's worth probably $25 ish and I got it for like two bucks because they didn't know what it was. They just looked at it. They put a tag on it, depression glass, carnival glass, whatever. They didn't bother checking it out. And I kind of knew it doesn't look Vaseline. It doesn't have that, that haze to it, but it did look unusual and it was yellow and it was this rim on the bottom that just kind of had a, a different color to it. So I got this little UV black light flashlight I bought on Amazon for like four bucks and it works really good. And I always have it in my coat or in my pocket. Um, when it gets warmer, I might have to break out the fanny pack. I, I have, let me show you this one. I have this cool um, camo military style. It's not really a fanny pack, it goes on your hip. Um, but this has my UV flashlight, it's got a jeweler's loop my cell phone, extra money, and this just straps onto my hip on my on my belt. Um, so I carry all my stuff in there, kind of like a man purse. So yeah, I saw this plate in the antique store, and it's a really gorgeous plate. I just love it. Um, and I whipped out my flashlight, all discreet, gave it a quick shine, and my eyes lit up. I'm like, wow, that's uranium glass. They don't even know what it is. And uh, so I bought it, and I kept it. This is a keeper. I'll display it someday. So yeah, I got to get to listing. I've got I don't know if you can see it behind me. I got cassette tapes, Christmas ornaments. Christmas ornaments will sell throughout the year because they're collectible. So if some, I have a Detroit um, Red Wings. They're not doing so hot, but I have uh, Detroit Red Wings uh, Christmas bulb. I've got 1984 Christmas bulbs made in West Germany, which West Germany doesn't exist anymore. It's just Germany. So people collect that. So don't be afraid to list Christmas items in the spring. They, they do sell. So that's the video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way when I make a video, you'll be notified. I do live videos, but I just participate in other people's live videos. I haven't uh, done a solo live yet, but that's coming soon. Uh, yeah, and comment down below. I love to answer questions. So my email is down below. My Instagram is down below. If you're new to reselling, um, say you sell on Macari or Poshmark or Etsy, or you do local Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, um, offer up, let go. If you have any questions at all, I can help you out. I just love to help people. So shoot me those questions. If you want to know where all my links are, just go to MidwestPicker.com and that's a link tree. It'll take you to everything that I have. That's it today, guys. It's beautiful outside for West Michigan. Second day in a row without a cloud in the sky and it's 55, 60 degrees. So I don't know what I'm doing inside making this video. I should be outside washing my car, but I'm not. So that's it, guys. That's the video. Thanks for watching.